everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 409. I'm Nate Moore. I did a webinar for Fierce Healthcare the other day using a chart like this, keeping track of monthly controllable adjustments and how many adjustments am I doing by month, what kind of adjustments, how many are controllable, how many aren't, and trying to better manage the whole adjustment cycle in a medical practice. If you want more ideas about how to use data in your medical practice, this is my book, Better Data, Better Decisions Using Business Intelligence in a Medical Practice. Wrote it with my friend Mona Reimers. It's available from MGMA.com. One more way to make your macros usable. You can write all the fancy macros you want in the world, but if you can't run them, they're no good to you. So I want to spend just one more video showing you a way to make it easy for folks who aren't all that familiar with Excel to quickly run a macro that you build in your spreadsheet. What you can do is you can come to the Insert menu, and you can do a picture, or you can do... Shapes. So if we picked a shape, something like a block arrow, what we could do is come over here and draw an arrow. And then we can right click and edit the text in the arrow and sign spreadsheet maybe. Yeah, that's good enough. And then once I've got that, all I do is right click the, the figure or the shape that I added to my spreadsheet and choose Assign Macro after right-clicking. Created by Nate it is. We click OK. And now if I come here, there's Created by Nate. So you can get a little bit creative with this. You can just do a normal box, like kind of like the button we did last time, or you can do arrows. There are a whole bunch of shapes from the Insert menu that you can choose from. Or you can download and use a picture as part of it. So what I did here is I grabbed my logo, and I said, OK, I'm going to attach created by Nate to my logo. That makes sense. So again, I've grabbed a picture, right click, assign macro, created by Nate, and then we'll just come right there underneath it. Works all day long. Easy ways to make your macros accessible to new users in a spreadsheet. Now that we've talked about several different ways to get macros started with the macro recorder and some of the tricks, and several different ways to use the macros you've created, now what it, it's time to go to VBA and learn a little bit more about how Visual Basic for Applications works, how to use that to make your spreadsheet do all kinds of interesting things. We'll be in VBA in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.